the KX News Storm Team. Welcome back everybody to KX News at 6. I'm Taylor Austin with the KX Storm Team. Today has been a fairly nice day out there. Uh, we saw some sunshine and temperatures didn't feel too bad either. Uh, in Bismarck, seeing clear skies still, temperature is 17 with an easterly wind at 7 miles per hour, dropping that wind chill down to 8 above. Minot's also seeing clear skies, temperature 16 with an east-south easterly wind at 3 miles per hour. Just that light wind is not dropping that wind chill down at all. So once again, we're kind of seeing this trend of temperatures colder in the east and warmer back to the west. Uh, so they're ranging all the way from the lower teens in the east into the mid to upper 20s in the west. It's 12 right now in Harvey, uh, 13 in Garrison, and right now in Bowman, it's 27. And winds are mostly out of the south, around 5 to 10 miles per hour. So we do have a bit of a break from that breeze out there today. Uh, the wind chills in the far northeast are feeling a lot colder than the west. Uh, it's one right now for a wind chill in Harvey, um, five in Garrison, and right now in Beach for a wind chill, it's 12. And so if you're out there traveling late tonight or early tomorrow morning, there is going to be some areas of some patchy fog late tonight, early tomorrow morning. And then uh, tomorrow night for New Year's Eve, lows will be dropping down into the single digits. And then New Year's Day, temperatures will be reaching back into the lower 20s. However, we do get another chance of snow head our way, uh, New Year's Day night anyway. And then after that, that's when we see temperatures gradually declining uh, once again, unfortunately. Now, if we take a look at our satellite and radar, uh, things have stayed pretty quiet throughout the day today. We've seen a few clouds in the sky now moving off to the east into Devil's Lake. However, if we take a look at precision cast here by tomorrow afternoon around 1 p.m., could see some light snow showers uh, in the far north around Renville County, Minot and Devil's Lake there. And as this moves past us, those winds are going to shift out of the west. However, uh, by Sunday morning, we could get another chance at some light snow in the far south there around Hedinger. And this is going to stick around in, mostly in the south throughout the afternoon on Sunday. And once again, if you're out there traveling uh, this evening, most of our roads are looking fairly decent to travel. However, there are some areas uh, in the yellow there in the far north, mostly northeast, uh, with scattered ice and also seeing some scattered snow roads there as well. So it is winter time. You just might want to take things a little bit slower out there this evening, even though things might look okay. And so lows tonight will be dropping down into the single digits and teens and even lower 20s in some areas. A low around 11 tonight in Botno and 12 in Bismarck. And high temperatures for tomorrow once again will be reaching back into the uh, teens, 20s, and lower 30s. And uh, we're seeing that trend stick around where colder temperatures are in the northeast to high around 17 tomorrow in Rugby and 24 in Garrison. And on Sunday, temperatures once again will be reaching into the uh, teens and 20s. However, they are gradually decreasing uh, going into next week. And if we take a look at Dickinson 72 hour planner here, we can kind of see that uh, high around 20 on Monday. Monday, along with a 50% chance of some snow as well. Williston temperatures will be dropping down into the upper teens there on Monday. And if we take a look at Minot seven day forecast here, there's a 10% chance of that snow on Monday. And after that, that's when we see the breeze pick back up and uh, temperatures are going to start to drop back down into the lower teens and even seeing temperatures below zero, unfortunately. Well. It is what it is. Here we are coming up to the new year in January. Yeah, I know. Happy New Year. Thank you. Happy New Year as well. Thank you.